to Lynn TV. I'm Lucy Robson with today's main stories. A Remembrance Day service will be held in Payer on Sunday in memory of those who have lost their lives in warfare and terrorism attacks. Two World War II veterans are going to present readings at the service and personnel from the Canadian Army in Cyprus for decompression from Afghanistan are also expected to attend. Hosted by the New Testament Community Church, the service is open to anybody who wishes to pay their respects. The Remembrance Service starts at 10.30 in Payer Municipal Car Park. The government has cut heating fuel tax by 10 cents to 2.1 cents. The new tax, which will be in force until March 31, 2010, was brought in for alignment with EU regulations. And the state has approved a 52 million euro package to support the struggling tourism industry. Measures include cutting VAT to 5% and approval of 10 million euros of state subsidies to help low-income groups holiday in Cyprus. Government guarantees for hotel loans for upgrades, a long-standing demand of hoteliers, were also approved. Finally, Cycle for Gambia is scheduled to return to Paphos Harbour tomorrow after cycling 750 kilometres around the island to raise money for the water needs of Nyongon village. The three-strong team of cyclists from Paphos have reached 73% of their €60,000 target. Paphos residents have the chance to show their support at a dinner event tomorrow night when Cycle for Gambia will announce details of the amount they have raised and hand over a cheque to Ping, the charity which will oversee works in Nyongon. The event takes place at the NSE restaurant near Coral Bay at 7.30 tomorrow evening. Tickets are 15 euros, which includes dinner and entertainment. To book, call 99 800 And to make a final donation to Cycle for Gambia, go to the address on the screen. Well, that's all we have time for today. We hope you'll join us again on Monday for more local news. From all of us here at Lynn.